and we see the uh, the, the vein pick again for. Oh wait, no, that's UCR. Okay, so we see the Brom Brom vein lock in for the bot lane for UCR. And uh, Khan, you want to hear a joke? I love jokes. Okay, hold on, I gotta think. Of one. What? <laughs> I thought I thought you had one. That's why you asked me. You want to hear a joke, Kappa? <laughs> yeah, feel free to post this out. Uh, we have a website you can check out. Have everything you need to know. It has all our uh, social media pages. Um, it'll have uh, updates on who's playing when. Uh, we even have the chat on there, so so it's pretty good. Uh, the website is uvsaleaguecircuit.com, which I'll post in the chat. Oh. A ribbon pick coming out for uh, CSUN. So far, they have a pretty strong front line with Jarvan and Thresh. And uh, we could see a potential Malphite too. Malphite and Fabron, very heavy engage. Uh, looks like uh, going to be a Jarvan jungle. So, um, right now, a lot, of, a lot of AD, and they still need their ADC. So, I'm expecting an AP mid laner for. Uh, for CSUN. Okay, uh, I got one, I got one. Alright, what is it? Okay, why is Yasuo the best roommate? Why is Yasuo the best roommate? Why, Danny? Because he always... HASAKI! <laughs> uh, what? 10 out of 10 for effort. What does what the chat think? <laughs> Was that a forced laugh? Well, ten, 4 out of 10? 10, 10 out of 10? What do you guys think of that joke? EJ Salt. No, that's not it. That's not. Um, so Alan asked, was Steven in the last game? Yes, Steven was in the last game. Oh, shoot. Danny, you suck. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be here all night. <laughs> I, I'm, no, I'm going to ban you. <laughs> I'm gonna ban you, Alec Fan. Luck Hacks is following. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I got a lame joke I just heard. Wanna hear that? Sure. Yeah. Knock knock. He's there. Probably a murder because no one knocks on the door anymore. They only text here. That's not a league joke. Oh, I thought we were doing league jokes? I just told you it's a normal joke. <laughs> everyone feels guilty because that's what everyone does. Here. Okay, so we have uh, Jarvin in the jungle, Riven in the top lane, Thresh and Tristan in the bot lane with a Vagar in the mid lane for rounding up UCR's comp. Yeah, and I, was, I said that was going to be a, a mid AP, and of course it's one of the strongest uh, when he maxes his AP, which doesn't max. Um, so it would be pretty pretty strong. I think it's pretty I don't know. I think I would right be. Now. I think I would be alright if uh, Kyle went uh, possibly Zed. Or Talon in the mid lane. Yeah, Zed does counter uh, bigger quite a bit. Um, I know because I mm -hmm. suffered a lot of those losses, but uh, I think um, CSUN's team comps actually, I think I like it. Uh, it's pretty explosive. It can catch people out. Um, it's still pretty good at team fights. But, uh, yeah, but I think that Malphite mm -hmm. might wreck. That might start doing some damage on Vagar. I mean, he can just jump into Vagar and, or Tristana. Definitely. So very strong engage coming out of uh, UC. Wait, that's UCR, right? Yeah, UCR with the Abram, Zach, and Malphite. You know, just throw the Oriana ball into any of one of them, and uh, I see a game changing ult. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna call UCR's team Team RKO because right now they could come out of nowhere. Seriously. And then the Oriana wonder, ball. Do they still have up. that glitch? Uh, Do they glitch? still have that glitch where uh, when you see Zach like jump, but you just see him run straight to you, like a super fast sprint? Um, you've never seen that before? I think so. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so wrap, rounding out. Team comps are interesting. See on the other side, it looks like it's mostly AP. Other than the vein.
Yeah, we're just gonna have to see how uh, this Vayne positions herself and possibly not get caught out. Uh, you know, I don't think that Thresh wants to hook anyone else except for the Vayne or the Orianna. So, and uh, they also and uh, Orianna and or maybe possibly. Uh, however, Malphite and Zach builds gotta be careful for Vagar's ult too. So, yeah. If people didn't notice, actually, uh, C Sun actually did a, a sub, which is which is normal, and that that's perfectly fine. Uh, Achoa uh, now in Thresh. So uh, for a round of the comp for CSUN, it looks like it's Poliwog with Riven in the top lane. Steven X, Steven X, Jarvin in the jungle. We have Team Titan with Vagar in the mid in the mid lane. Uh, Sugumi with the Tristana uh, for ADC, and of course, like I said, the Thresh with Achoa. And over in um, and that's uh, Justin, Justin Batista, Justin Batista for. Achoa. And then for UC Riverside in the top lane, we got I Lazy with Malphite. We got uh, Daddy Vorpal with Zach in the jungle. We got Kyle Kazi with Oriana in the mid lane. Uh, and Kazin, wait, and, and Kians, uh with Vayne in the ADC and Serap with support Braum. All right, guys, what do you guys think? Uh, hashtag UC, uh, sorry, hashtag UCR win or hashtag CSUN win? Tally up the votes. All I see is hashtag Kevin Chow or hashtag King bring Kevin bring back Kevin Chow. Interesting. Yes, Kevin Chow, if you're watching this stream, uh, I want a rematch. Kevin, I think Kevin Chow just told me GG no re. Damn. Never mind. <laughs> right, I got another minute. Um, so what what do you think of these team comps so far? Uh, what do you think has an edge? I think uh, I re I really. I think I might have to give this one over to uh, to UCR. They just have very strong engage, very strong peel, you know, with the Braum. Very strong engage with the Zack and the Malphite, and uh, you know, just Oriana ball onto any one of them, and Spain clean up the back in the yeah. back line. But if you know, they could get uh, zoned out with uh, um, Vagar's uh, Horizon thing and. Uh, Thresh's box and Tristana's uh, knockback ult, so we'll see how that one really plays out. But uh, yeah, yeah. my Jarvis money's on UCR this one. And Jarvan's mm -hmm. ulti too. Uh, yeah, I think it really comes out to who, um, I mean, if UC Riverside gets their Womble combo or any other Womble combos, like they have all high cooldowns, so uh, if they fight in between, like to say their, cool, their ultimates, I think I'd give it to CSUN. Um, CSUN has a lot better, um, lesser cooldowns, I guess, than ultimates, so I think it all really depends if when they fight. And what cooldowns are up? Uh, Aquaman, 420. It's very inappropriate. Mods, mods, where are you at? Mods. All right, looks like we're starting to get in the rift. All right, I think that'll be it for me and Danny. We'll see you guys, at least uh, our camera. And Nikki in the back, too. <laughs> Nikki in the back. All right. Con, did you happen to uh, get a screenshot of the last game? Uh, good question. No. I'm sure someone has. Okay, so we're loading up on the rift. Uh, I'm already here, just waiting for Con. And uh, we see the double TP again for UCR, and uh, CSUN has decided to take to double TP also. This map control is just so important in this meta. I hear they're going to change TP, probably delete it out or change the cooldown on it or, or something. Alright, now we're in the rift. Uh, Daniel is ahead, so... Okay, they still all group it together and they all bot at the same time. I like it when they do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, CSUN looking maybe for the early engage, but, uh, you know, UCR going together down the bot lane trying to pull out some cheese. See them ping in the blue side try and, uh, trying to catch somebody out. I think it might happen. Oh, Thresh with the very important ward in the tri bush. Very nice ward. That may have saved them their first blood. 
You know, since they see all five players, uh, Jarvin and Vagar ping in the red, trying to steal the red. Oh, shut up, Isaac. <laughs> Con, are you there? I am here. You wanna pull a search as and sing everyone a song? Uh, only for donations. Just kidding. No, I can't sing. I'd make your ears start bleeding. Whoa. Uh, if you look at UC Riverside, they they invested a lot of words to our uh, trinkets into going into the um, the red side of uh, season. All right, no action happening early game. Just uh, a yeah, for the skins and the standard lanes. LT Gray, LT Gray Brom, my favorite Brom skin. Standard lanes once again. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the first team to do a, a lane swap. I mean, it's pretty pretty interesting. I don't think they will because that's pretty crazy LCS status. But I think at least I they think got the Thresh and the Triss are taking way too long taking this camp. Yeah. See how it now they're gonna them. go back to lane. Yeah. That's just usually good, but what I learned from Krepo is what you do is you auto, flay, auto, and that should be pretty good. Nice Winter's Bite onto the Tristana. But uh, we're seeing a little uh, double jungle for from uh, Riven and Jarvan. At least, at least I like but Riven TPs. I like Riverside trying at least something different, I mean, than normal standard stuff, so I like it. Mm -hmm. We could see an early gank. Onto the Malphite. You know, hoping to maybe blow his flash. Oh, and the engage comes, the knock up onto the Malphite, and I believe he has to blow flash here if he wants to survive. I don't think they have enough damage. Oh, flash. Double flash. Oh, the flash. And he lives. They blew flash two flashes. Malphite living with 50 health. But Jarvis not done. Oh, just missed him. You know, Jarvan's wasting a lot of time in this jungle. Jack is coming up. Could get the first blood here. Oh, flash onto the Jacks. That red buff is no really gonna do this red some damage. But he escapes. He escapes. Good disengage. Good escape by Jarvan. But they uh, lost a lot doing that. Again, thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, uh, my name is Danny Sayosha Nguyen, and uh, I'm here with uh, Khan. I can do it, Tran. And uh, second, second, second day, week one of the ULC. Happy you guys could join us. We also have a game tomorrow. It's gonna be uh, Long Beach versus CPP White. CPP. CPB White, yeah. Con, Con is definitely hotter. I'm like, I can't even show my face on stream. I just play music. He spelled my name like Con, Con like Con Kent, Kent or something like that. <laughs> Con, 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 Con Kent. Kent. Nah, Danny's definitely hotter. He can sing and he obviously he has a girlfriend, so that that proves my point. <laughs> No, I have, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I hope she. I hope he's not watching the stream. Mr. Beaver. Shout out to Tiffany. <laughs> uh, let's see. So far, both all lanes pretty even in CS. Uh, yeah, only yeah, the, the only disparity even. is uh, Jarvin because he spent a lot of time trying to gank. So. Mm -hmm. That's why they have such. Uh, they have a 300 gold lead. Oh, good damage onto the Riven. You know, Riven playing against a a tanky champion with an armor passive like Malphite can be pretty hard. Yeah, I think and, so too. And uh, I think I think he's uh, rushing the Frozen Heart. Malphite's rushing the Frozen Heart. Or he can do the search as build where he gets like five cloth armors. I like that build. Yeah, Jarvis is really showing a lot in lanes, but he's falling behind in CS. And experience too, he's behind a level and experience. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we see pings in the in the mid lane trying to get onto the back trying to get to Zach. Nice ball knock up. Ball and a flash. Oh. Had some bad manners. He got the flash out of Vagar, but he does have teleport. Let's see if he tries to teleport in. <laughs> oh, Thresh just missed the hook. That could have been uh, just first blood right there if he landed that hook. But a uh, good, uh, good gank by Jarvan, blowing the Vayne's flash. Could yeah. be helpful for the next team fight. And, and ja uh, Jack, uh, Zach is actually doing a good thing. If you notice, uh, he went right to the enemy's uh, blue jungle to counter jungle. When you see someone in the opposite lane, I mean in the bottom lane or top lane, then you obviously go to the opposite jungle. Easy, easy counter jungling. We see uh, pinging on the red side, top side. Could be a gank onto the Riven, but that ward scopes out the Zac and she backs away. I think the bot lane is going to be a skill matchup, I and mean, they both need time to scale, but I think it's all up to their supports. Uh huh. I Good wonder, trade by Riven. If I was Riven, I'd probably go in because uh, Malphite's too low. He can either only do one ulti or like a skill, two skills. Yeah, I agree. But uh, you know, then again, I don't think the damage is there for an execute. Yeah. Plus, you just saw. Gonna push out this lane. Yeah, you're right. Cause you just saw Zach too, uh, like uh, 30 seconds ago. Uh -huh. So he might have been around the area. You know, good job with Vayne, keeping up with the farm. Only down about 7 CS. Yeah. This wave right here should help. Let's see. Pretty safe playing so far. Good disengages, good ganks. See uh, Ribbon roam to the mid lane though. Never mind, she goes back top. Pretty standard builds too. We see the glacial shroud on the Malphite to help with his mana and armor and cooldown reduction. Oh, there goes the ulti. Ooh, gank onto the Malphite. Okay, Riven just popped her ulti. Did he go back in? Riven. Oh, Malphite went back in, but he is without flash. Oh, Whoa, RKO out of game. nowhere! Oh, like you saw that, Con. <laughs> wow, great counter engage by uh, by Zach. Yeah, they called that one. That one just looked like miscommunication because the Riven popped their ulti, um, started going in, but the Jarvan went backwards, and then by that time, uh, it was already too committed, and then the Zach showed up, and I think that was the difference. They yeah, could have killed that Malphite, time. but also Riven missed her mm -hmm. ulti, um, her her wood slash. Oh, she did. Yeah, yeah. I think that gave uh, Zach just enough time to uh, charge up his uh, his his elastic swing shot. Yeah, and I think that was a pretty good uh, play. Oh. I think that's a uh, VS hashtag VSA big plays. Oh, we see a uh, play down mid. Whoa. Wow, very nice play by Oriana and Zach. Very. You see the elastic string shot onto the Vagar, and uh, you know Oriana followed it up with her command shockwave. Really nice game. Yeah, and also uh, Zach is already level seven, while Jarvis still level five. I mean, three kills to do that, but <laughs> also he's been farming. Jarvis. This is the at least from last game, right? Yeah. Definitely knows how yeah, to jungle. Making pretty good. Making pretty good ganks. And uh, uh, we see Zach. Stay, stay tuned, whoever's uh, still watching. Um, I'm gonna give away a, a free, a free mystery skin. Uh, after this, after the these matches, so stay tuned. I'll have a, a trivia question, and whoever can get that right, um, will get a free skin for me. But you know, it's not going to be what what year was UVSA uh, started either. <laughs> oh, that one's too way too easy. Yeah, we, we already did it twice, so I'll think of something else. All right, we see Zach in the bot. Maybe they're going to try to work around the dragon. Um, just clearing out some, uh, some wards. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> so far, so far for gold, uh, CR ahead up by two and a half. Two and a half K. Um, some pretty important items coming out, almost. It was a mystery, but uh, the Zach not going. Oh, the good hook on the Thresh, but the great disengage. Oh, and there goes that Zach and just miss. I think they, I think they saw it, it was warded, right? Yeah, no, it was not warded. Blind jump that. If you look at the gold disparity too, Zach is actually up uh, 1.5k over the Jarvan. We could see a gank in the mid lane again. Oh, Command Shockwave, but Vagar flashes out. He does not want the same thing to happen to him like last time. That was a very good flash. And the B... Alright, pinging on to the bot lane. Yeah, Zach is not going his standard... Uh... Standard tank build, he's going AP, he's gonna has a haunting guys. How are we gonna finish up this Leandris? Yeah, it's pretty close to Frozen Heart already for I Lazy. I don't think Rivers is gonna be able to do it. He popped his ulti though. Yeah, we have one on one, but he doesn't have enough mana for his ulti. I do like that Riven skin though, Arcade Riven. When she dies, it says KO. So we all see it. I wish they would make her uh, recall, like her choosing a sword. Oh, Big R with the roam up to the top lane, but this could be pretty bad for Riven. I expect. Oh, he does not have enough mana for his ulti. Uh, oh, the OE did not work. I don't think he has mana to do anything actually. See what happens? No, nope, he'll just have to run oh, around. Orion is coming. I. Jarvis. Okay, maybe he'll make it. Very nice. If only he saved a little bit of mana for his ulti. Oh, but both flashes are uh, gone from, from the top lane. Only 2k gold. I think he's still pretty close. Yeah, still anyone's game. Just uh, Garvin needs to be a little more involved helping out his lanes but Orianna is starting to get a pretty big uh, gap in between CS from Vagar so far the Vagar has 71 stacks on his uh, on his Q he's getting up there 71 stacks that's actually pretty good um... And for those just joined, this is game two. You see Riverside versus CSUN. Um, you see Riverside's up one game. Uh, go ahead, follow the the the, ch uh, the stream if you haven't already. Uh, Red Parrot shows up, or you can also check out our website, uvsaleaguecircuit.com. Has everything you need to know about this league uh, with these five teams, six teams, but five schools. Hello Cinderella Monkey, welcome to the stream. How do you think uh, your team is doing, Cinderella Monkey? An official coach or a real coach? Sorry. Oh, they happen to catch the uh, oh. Zach out. Oh, the command shockwave. Double RKO. It's a flash out from Jarvan and leaves Big R to die. Riven tries to come clean up, but... Uh, just a little too weak right now. You know, the Malphite finishes his frozen heart. Ribbon can't do much, and Zack actually survives that. Yeah, his passive was up. Uh, they couldn't kill it. That's run uh -huh. away. So at the very end, it's zero for one. Yeah.
Uh, Jarvan, that was very good flash by Jarvan. If he didn't flash out, he would have died from the command shockwave. But uh, they start picking the dragon. Uh, I think uh, very little chance for uh, Sea Sun to steal, but we'll see. But people want to know how to, how to, let's say, like, you know, Zach is going jumping out of nowhere. The best way to, de to defend that, or at least counter that, is um, having wards around here. Anywhere, to any possible jump area. Very hard. You gotta invest a little more, but it's better uh -huh. than getting ganked. Yeah, like, definitely, Tyler. It's not about winning. It's about having fun. Same thing as, um, like, Fiddlesticks. You know, you gotta ward your jungle. You gotta make sure he doesn't pop out of nowhere. Same thing goes for Zach. Uh. Oh, welcome back, Lewis FR2. Nice to have you back on the stream. Oh, hook onto the Braum, but I do not think they can follow up. Very nice play, but uh, they just uh, killed themselves on that one, but Triss could get a kill onto the Braum. Braum flashes, heals, jumps in, gets condemned to the wall, and I think this kill goes to Bane. Ooh, Triss with the uh, wild turtle jump, and uh, Oriana TPs in, gets a kill onto the Thresh. Very nice team play from UCR. And again, Malphite gets away. Or does he? he? Does not get away. I don't think this Vagar is getting away either. Ooh. All right, team fights all around. All the. And the first tower goes. Oh no, that's second tower already. Oh, command shockwave onto Jarvan and the Riven. Bomb passive. Rocks on the Jarvan and the kill goes over to the Oriana. Very nice Winter's fight. They could get. Okay. Vigar with the teleport to save Riven. Yeah, I just want to say, uh, UCR's vision game is really strong. They have very deep wards into their jungle. Um, you know, denying everything they can. Yeah, much like the last game, you see Riverside's uh, slowly doing better in some of the lanes. Uh, it's actually mostly mid lane. And of course their jungler is doing a lot of work. Oh, Malphite with the full punch to the Vagar and the Jarvan, and uh, this could be Vagar going down, but he survives, throws down the Q, and Malphite pulls out. Ooh. Command Shockwave onto with the re-engage. Can Oriana clean this up? Ooh, with the shutdown gold onto the Riven. That was very nice Command Shockwave on the Oriana, though. Yeah, she hit two. I mean, that really turned uh, from it looking pretty bad to pretty good. That was a pretty long team fight. Pretty At the very okay. end, it was just two for one, though. Uh, one for one. Then the Vagar and the Jarvan die. Um. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hook onto the Braum. Again, that's the last person you want to hook. But we could see a gank onto the bot lane, but they spot out Vagar, and his uh, stun does not catch her. Much like the last game, um, uh, top lane's the only one that would be good to not to early game, and the rest of the team plus a snowball. I mean, a uh, hook skill. Wow, very nice ult by Malphite getting out of that trouble. Oh, command shockwave on the Jarvan with the BM Pain Gaming icon. My fight goes down Ooh. to the tower, but uh, Oriana picks up the kill onto Jarvan. I think that's pretty good play all around. Okay, good. Yeah, pretty good uh, tower, tower aggro. Troll. But yeah, Seasun has a, another scaling comp with obviously Vagar and Tristana. Um, and then they have advantage up top, but they, they didn't, they haven't gotten an advantage. And then on Riverside, they have uh, early jungle, jungler, 
and you know they scale a little too, but they, they've been getting ahead. Oh, and again with the hook onto the prom, Riven comes in from behind to try to flank out the vein, but Vayne is way too strong at this point in the game. Double kill onto Vayne, TP from the mouth fight, trying to clean up the Riven. Triple kill goes to Vayne, and I believe that is also the tower. Clean three for O, going over to UCR. Get used to that teleport. He got something out of it. He got the assist. Worth, right? Yes. Almost 9k gold lead. Yeah, this is not looking too good for CSUN. Um, they just seem to be falling farther and farther behind. You know, at this point, they just have to catch up and farm and try to pick someone off. They get the Brom. With the ult. Oh, Vagar tries to go onto the vein. The uh, good heal onto the Vagar stops him. Execute onto the vein. Get the down gold from Thresh. Riven goes in onto the Malphite. Command Shockwave, four man ulti. Very nice play. And the BM last starts to come out. This could be the first inhibitor as uh, UCR, you know, bust out the icon BM. Wow, that was a really good Shockwave. Again, it looked like it. it uh, you see, Sun could have turned it, but then uh, UCR. It's a nice command Shockwave. It's like you said in Camp Select, on just an RKO out of nowhere. Yeah. That was a pretty great ulti. I think it hit four people. Yeah, it definitely did. It took out half their life. <laughs> and uh, this could be a second dragon going over to uh, UCR. Yeah, look at the gold. You know, and UCR take. Uh huh. Yeah, look at the gold lead. Everyone on UCR is up either 1k or 2k uh, against their counterparts. I guess second dragon. That was a great, that was a great shockwave. I think that deserves a Craig after as well. Definitely. All right, let's take a look at a uh, Vagar stack. So far, 23 minutes in the game, he has 117 stacks. Slowed down a little bit. But that's only due to the excessive team fights. Alright, Ariana gets the blue. Oh, Vayne wants to go in. This guy's ward. Vayne going hard in the paint. Oh, she has backup from Malphite though, so it doesn't really matter. See, that KO popped up. Yeah, at this point in the game, I just don't see how CSUN can come back. Just uh, if the Riven wants to go hard, and then she just gets stopped by Malphite's ult. You know, and Oriana follows up. Yeah. That was a good jump away from uh, be hard. from Tristana getting away from that shockwave from Oriana. Pretty tall order. Yeah, Malphite taking a lot of turret damage there for no reason, but YOLO. <clears throat> now, as we see, uh, inhib turret, second inhib turret. Tsun tries to engage with two people, but only to get caught out. No one targeting the vein except for the Trish right now. But you know, at this point, it's too late. Good damage onto the vein, but uh, no one else to follow up. While Oriana takes on to the Nexus turret. I think this could be the game. Nope, nope, this is what you call Vagar scaling. Alright. Good, uh... Oh, no, Orianna with the back door, though. Yeah, Orianna onto the Nexus turrets. This could be the game if they don't get her back, if they don't get back fast enough. Oh, Dash is up. With the exhaust, Command Shockwave onto the Vagar. She still lives? I, yeah, nope, never mind, she's dead. Or is she? Okay, the flash. Okay. Oh, an ace. I mean, Oriana did do Pretty work. Pretty messy. 
Yeah, I mean, I would say that's totally worth. But uh, this random uh, pink ward next to the Nexus turret. Yeah, for people that didn't see it, what Vagar did is all he did was flash ulti on that on that vein, and she just instantly, instantly died. And then he hit a Q that which got, I think, a double kill. So if they're ever gonna win this game, I think it's all on Vagar's back. If you think about it, they're only a 9k. I mean, 9k seems pretty big, but I think when you're LCS teams and you're, you have a 10k gold lead, you know how to secure it. But, you know, when you play solo queue, you could have 10, 20 gold lead and you still might lose, depending on what happens. Yeah, we'll just have to see in the late game, because, uh, like you said, the big R could, uh, oh, engage onto the Zac, Braum ulti to follow up, and Vayne, uh, Riven goes down. Kill goes over to Vayne. Trying to catch Jarvan, but he EQs out. I think they could be starting Baron right now. Nope. Zach goes for the jump. Cuts down Jarvan. Gets the slow on him, but uh, he just wants to zone him out because uh, his team's starting the Baron. Is Zach skin? Is that skin the only one that actually like just like looks like he's like riding a bicycle in the air or something? The other ones I seem like they like he does like belly flop. They like run. Yeah. Really? yeah. Yeah, this one looks like I think the other ones he looks like he does belly flop. Oh, not notice. I'll take a look at that. You do not. Uh oh. They're actually be getting caught out. Jump punch to the fresh. Prom ult to follow up. Lots of damage coming out from the blue side. Oh, another oh, big with shockwave. Oh, shockwave. Bane with the cleanup from the back end. I think this could be game con. Waits. You're, you're wow. underestimating the Vagar. Oh. Stuck. Oh. Hey, mechanics. Come on, Riven. You can do it. Wow. Well, that might be game. They got 10 seconds though, but there's no, there's no inhibitor turret. No. Or no Nexus turret. There's no Nexus turrets. Yep, I believe that's game. Only the fresh up. Just on up. Second second. For just on oh, up. finally to the vein, but oh, oh, actually, no. Nope. All right, looks like that's game. Uh, you see, Riverside takes the game two. It takes the series two to zero. Think about that game, Con. Interesting, interesting. Um, honestly, I felt a lot of similarities between the first and second game. Uh, top lane chose a bully early game to try to snowball, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and while the other two lanes are had a you know a ADC that needed time time to scale, as well as the um, the mid laner needed time to scale, and you know, unfortunately, they didn't get to that point because. The jungler was just doing too much work. There, um, I mean, Jarvan tried to do a good job trying to gank early, but it didn't work out, and he fell behind. And Zach just basically went everywhere, and he started helping everyone, and got fed. I think that's that's basically the, what happened last game too. Yeah, uh, good play all around. Uh, UCR with the RKO, multiple RKOs, and uh, actually we're.